What's up, Cowboys Nation? Welcome back to Cowboys News TV. I'm your host, Dave, bringing you the latest updates, in-depth analysis, and everything you need to know about our Dallas Cowboys. Today, we've got some critical news surrounding our star defender, Micah Parsons, and his recent left ankle injury that has the entire fan base holding its breath. But before we dive into the details, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. We're closing in on 12,000 subscribers, and with your support, we can get there even faster. Your subscription helps us grow and continue bringing you the best Cowboys content. Let's reach that goal together. So, what exactly happened to Micah Parsons, and how serious is his injury? Let's break it all down for you. During the Cowboys' Thursday night football win against the New York Giants, with less than four minutes left in the game, Parsons was caught in a tough spot. He was blocked by Giants center John Michael Schmitz into right guard Greg Van Roden, who unfortunately fell on Parsons' left ankle. As Parsons explained after the game, as I was planting, a guy fell on me. Cowboys Nation, how are you feeling about this injury? Drop your level of concern in the comments, and let us know if you think Parsons will be back sooner rather than later. We've also got a community poll running. Head over there and vote on whether you think Parsons should rest through the Cowboys by week in week 7, or if you believe he'll return earlier. We love hearing from you. So, here's what we know so far. Parsons was carted off the field after struggling to put weight on his left leg and was later seen limping to the team bus after the game. According to NFL insider Ian Rappaport, early reports suggest that Parsons may have suffered a high ankle sprain, but we're still waiting for the results of an MRI to confirm the extent of the injury. Now, for those of you wondering, what exactly is a high ankle sprain? Well, it's no minor issue. This type of injury occurs when the ligaments that connect the tibia and fibula are damaged. Recovery can take anywhere from six to eight weeks, depending on the severity. A study from the National Institutes of Health even confirmed that athletes with this injury often miss five to eight weeks of action. But as Cowboys fans know, Micah Parsons is no ordinary athlete. He's a warrior, and we're all hoping for a quicker than expected return. But here's the big question, how long will Micah Parsons actually be out? We've got some good news and some bad news. The Cowboys have 10 days before their next game against the Pittsburgh Steelers on October 6th, but that might still be too soon for Parsons to return. The Week 6 home game against the Detroit Lions on October 13th could also be a stretch. However, Dallas does have a bye week in Week 7, and a return for Week 8 against the San Francisco 49ers on October 27th seems more realistic. Cowboys Nation, what's your take? Should the Cowboys play it safe and hold Parsons out through the bye week, or do you think he'll push to be back sooner? Let us know in the comments. Your input is what makes this community great, so don't be shy, get involved. For those of you wondering, what does this injury mean for the Cowboys' defense moving forward? Well, it's a major blow. Parsons is the heart and soul of this defense, and his presence on the field is irreplaceable. However, Cowboys coach Mike McCarthy addressed both Parsons and Demarcus Lawrence's injuries during a press conference on Friday. McCarthy mentioned that both players are getting second opinions on their injuries, but he admitted they're worse than we anticipated. We know the impact Parsons has on this defense, but what do you think Cowboys Nation? Can our defense hold up without him for a few games? Who needs to step up in his absence? Sound off in the comments, and let's get that conversation going. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you stay updated on all things Cowboys. As for Micah Parsons, he's a competitor through and through. He underwent x-rays on his left ankle, and thankfully, those came back negative. That's a relief, but the MRI will give us a clearer picture of the road ahead. High ankle sprains are tricky, but Parsons has overcome adversity before, and we're confident he'll do it again. Speaking of recovery timelines, let's take a look at the Cowboys' upcoming schedule. After facing the Steelers and the Lions, Dallas hits their bye week. This would give Parsons a full four weeks to recover before a critical game against the San Francisco 49ers on October 27th. 
If Parsons isn't back by then, here's a look at the games he could miss. Dallas visits the Atlanta Falcons on November 3rd, hosts the Philadelphia Eagles on November 10th, welcomes the Houston Texans on November 18th, and visits the Washington Commanders on November 24th. That's a tough stretch, but the good news is, if Parsons recovers within six to eight weeks, he could be back for some key divisional matchups. We know how important Parsons is, especially with games against the Eagles and Commanders looming. So, Cowboys Nation, what do you think? Should the Cowboys play it cautious and give Parsons extra time, or do you think he'll be back sooner than expected? Hit the comments, cast your vote, and let's keep the discussion going. And hey, while we're talking about the road ahead, don't forget to subscribe to Cowboys News TV. We're growing fast and are so close to reaching our goal of 12,000 subscribers. Your support means everything to us, and it helps us continue delivering the best Cowboys content out there. Hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and make sure you don't miss any of our updates, especially as we track Micah Parsons' recovery. Let's not forget about Demarcus Lawrence, who's also dealing with a foot injury. Coach McCarthy has said Lawrence's injury might be even worse than Parsons. Losing two key defenders would be a huge setback, but this Cowboys defense has depth and will need players like Dorrance Armstrong, Dante Fowler, and rookie DeMarvian Overshone to step up in the coming weeks. So, what's the plan if Parsons and Lawrence are both sidelined? That's where defensive coordinator Mike Zimmer will need to work his magic. Zimmer has a reputation for getting the most out of his players, and this will be a true test of his coaching abilities. With the bye week coming soon, Zimmer has time to adjust and get the defense ready for the second half of the season. Before we wrap up, let's throw it back to you, Cowboys Nation. What do you think the Cowboys should do while Parsons recovers? Do you trust the depth we have, or should the Cowboys consider making a trade or picking up a free agent to help the defense hold the line? Drop your suggestions in the comments, we want to know what you think. And with that, we're going to keep a close eye on Micah Parsons' recovery, and we'll be sure to keep you updated on any new developments. In the meantime, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and join the Cowboys News TV community. We've got a lot more to cover as we move closer to week 5 against the Steelers, and we want you along for the ride. Thanks for tuning in, Cowboys Nation. We appreciate all your support, and we can't wait to bring you more updates as the season unfolds. Until next time, stay safe, stay loud, and go Cowboys!